from Naya Reads and Smiles here on the YouTube. Today I'm here to share with you guys some books that are on my TBR list for this winter, for this cold. Every video I have a different theme and today's theme is one of my favorite themes. It is cozy winter reads. So books that you can just snuggle up with, books that'll make you laugh and cry. A lot of contemporary books with an emphasis on family, friendship, coming of age, relationships, books that'll just warm your heart but also tear your heart apart a little bit. Anyways, without further ado, let us get into it. So the first book I have here is Far From The Tree. Now this book has to do with adoption and teen pregnancy and again, it is a coming of age story for this main character, for this girl. In this book, we follow our main character, Grace. Now she has been in adopted only child her whole life until she discovers that she is actually a middle child and goes on this pursuit, this hunt to find her biological family. So she ends up finding her biological sister and her biological brother and learns about them and learns, you know, how their upbringing was very different from hers. Our main character Grace also just put up her own child um, up for adoption so she is dealing with that also and it is just a story following her discovering herself, discovering her family, and just learning from the decisions that she's making growing up. And it just sounds like a beautiful story and it deals with topics that aren't widely discussed in young adults, so I'm very excited that we are getting books like this and that they are available to read. So I'm, uh, so this book is high on my to read list. This next book here just sounds like it is gonna be a cute book that's gonna make me cry because that's what cutesy high school books do to me, okay? Top 10 by Katie Katugno. Now this book here, okay, so it follows our two main characters, their best friends, but could not be more opposite. So we have our guy main character, he is a super popular, you know, hockey star, very athletic guy, and we have our girl main character, she's very dorky, very much an introvert, very much just the total opposite to our main character Ryan, and they just somehow get along and have just been best friends, and something that they do together is make top 10 lists, so top 10 lists of things to do, da 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 da. Graduation is coming up for both of them, they are both high school seniors, and just this whole four year adventure for them is coming to a close, and so they decide to make a top 10 list counting down the top 10 moments of their friendship, which just like, oh, in my heart. Anyways, they're kind of figuring out their relationship now. You know, they're friends, but they, I think both have this mutual attraction and might be more than that. So it's definitely a cutesy contemporary book. This next book here is literally one of the most anticipated books for me. Calling My Name by Liara Tamani. This book here is told in 53 short chapters or kind of short stories and follows our main character from when she's younger all the way up into her teenage years. It's a story about her growing up as an African American girl in Houston, Texas and it just sounds like it is going to be a beautiful story that I will hopefully be able to resonate with because I remember reading The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas and and I was able to resonate with that deeply and I'm just so excited that we have more diverse books and this is on the top of my list. This book is about a character discovering who she is and books like this just tug at your heart and almost everyone can find something that they can relate to in books like these so I'm so excited to read this one. Next book here is another contemporary book that just sounds like it is going to tug at my heart and make me cry and laugh and smile. Here we are now by Jasmine Wenga. So this book here follows our main character. She is 16 years old and she is a girl who just loves music. For her, it is a way to escape um, the feelings and the struggle that she has with not knowing who her father is. She has grown up with just her mother who has been very secretive about who her father is um, and he was never really a part of her life until one day she discovers a shoebox full of photos and information about him and she discovers that he is actually a really popular musician and she, being someone who loves music immediately just starts to piece things together. She starts writing letters to him in hopes that he'll contact her back, um, but he doesn't respond and then one day just shows up out of the blue at her doorstep and they go on a trip together to get to know each other and for her to kind of meet his side of the family and you know after 16 years of not knowing who he is and then finally discovering who her father is, it's a very big life altering thing for her. So this follows her whole journey journey and I am just very excited to read this book. It is very short, something that you can just read on the train, read when it's snowing. Last 
but not least, I could not end this TBR list without a full-blown Christmas theme book because Christmas is coming up. The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Han. This book follows our main character, Holly Chase. Now, three years ago, no, no, five years ago, she was visited on Christmas Eve by the three ghosts of Christmas past, and she was a very bratty, spoiled child, and so the ghosts tried to you know, get her to change her ways, but she did not, and so she ended up dying. Yeah. So now she is in the afterlife, and she is a ghost of Christmas past, and so she goes on Christmas Eve to different Scrooges or people who are just, you know, need to change their ways and become better people. She goes and visits them in hopes of helping them change their ways. This year, though, is different for her because she visits someone who is not like the other Scrooges that she's visited before, and it just sounds like a very cliffhangery, interesting synopsis here. I love a good Christmas novel, and this sounds like it'll be the perfect, like, contemporary holiday read, so I'm very excited to read this one. All right, that is all the books I have on my TBR list today. Today. I hope you guys check these books out and enjoy them. The holidays are made for tea and coffee and just spending time with your books and your family. So, alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, keep reading and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!